My name's Simon Crompton, founder of Permanent Style. In this video series, we're looking at the basics of how to wear and maintain fine clothes. Today, we're exploring the different ways to wear a pocket handkerchief at Bud Shirt Makers in London. There are many videos on folding a pocket square or handkerchief, but for me, they largely ignore one point. And that is, for a handkerchief to look good, as in much of menswear, it must look natural. It isn't, obviously. You're not gonna blow your nose in it and put it back, as might have been done in the past. But for a handkerchief to look good, it must look as easy, natural, and unaffected as possible. Nothing is less attractive in menswear than looking self-conscious and fussy. In this video, we will demonstrate the best ways to fold or stuff a handkerchief and find the right balance between neatness and nonchalance. We will touch on more complicated folds, but no more. This is clothing, not origami. Firstly, the points. The easiest way to wear a pocket handkerchief is simply to grab it in the middle, smooth it out with your other hand, and then stuff it into the pocket, leaving the points protruding from the top. Carry on until you hit the bottom of the pocket, and the points are as far out as you wish. The further out is more showy, but too far in and the points can look a little apologetic. You can then rearrange the points to get that balance of neatness and naturalness. You don't want everything asymmetric, but neither do you want one point twice as long as all the others. Making sure the hank touches the bottom of the pocket should prevent it falling down during the day. This should be possible with all good sized handkerchiefs. Pockets do vary in size though, and for small patch pockets, such as those preferred by Neapolitan tailors, a smaller size of hank might be better. If you do find that the handkerchief creeps out of the pocket during the day, you can also fold up the bottom a little before stuffing it in. Next, points and puff together. That first fold is equally good for stiff materials like cotton or linen, and soft ones like wool or silk. This second fold, on the other hand, is really better with softer materials. It's most useful when you want to display the colour and pattern of the centre of the hank as well as the edge perhaps because you want to add a different colour or pattern to the outfit. The process is the same as fold one, except that you fold the bottom of the hank all the way up so it is level with the points. Then both points and centre are displayed. The disadvantage of this technique is that the handkerchief might not be touching the bottom of the pocket and it can therefore slip down. It can be better with smaller breast pockets, therefore. Number three is the puff. Of course, you can use a similar method to folds one and two, but just leave the centre of the hank on display. This creates a round puff of silk in the pocket, which can look a little plain and lifeless. Better, often, is to introduce a little texture to the puff by doing what I call the lazy fold. As with all puff folds, it's better with silks and silk wool mixes. Here you take one corner of the handkerchief, push it in until it hits the bottom of the pocket, and then take the opposite corner and stuff it in behind. Carry on pushing it in, until the desired amount of silk is on display. Another way to achieve the same effect is to lay the handkerchief over your fist, push the middle in with your fingers, and then pick up the hank with your other hand before sliding it in. The effect is similar to the lazy fold, although I find it slightly more likely to spill out during the day. Next, the square fold. Actual folds of a handkerchief are generally best for cotton or linen although there can be a nice variation for wool mixes. Folds also tend to look smarter and more formal, although the colour and material will always make a bigger difference there. The most popular fold of this type is one that creates a thin, straight line at the top of the pocket. To do this, fold the handkerchief into quarters, then make one small fold horizontally, and one more to fold the remaining width in half. Then, fold up the bottom to a little more than the depth of the pocket and push it in. It tends to look a little more natural, and certainly shows off the hand stitching, if the edges of the hank are uppermost rather than the fold. In this case, the points would also usually be pointing outwards towards the shoulder. Now, a more complicated fold. As we said at the beginning, there are many ways to fold a handkerchief and almost as many books describing how to do them, but most of these look self-conscious and fussy. As with tie knots, there's a reason stylish men today stick to a consistent few. For example, you can create an artificial version of number one, the points, by 
carefully arranging each of the four points alongside each other. Here you start with a hank laid flat, fold each corner up in turn, and then fold in the sides and bottom to make the right size for the pocket. The only time I'd really recommend doing this is if you find fold number one too hard to control and want something a bit more consistent. In that case, do this four point fold but then mess with the points afterwards to make it look less affected. And there are many, many more. The scallop fold, for instance, where the edges are folded into a small triangle, tucked in at the sides, and then placed in the top of the pocket. But for most people, most of the time, the first four are all you need. Dressing well is more about buying quality accessories, combining them well, and looking at ease in your clothes. Leave the origami to someone else. For more practical information and reviews of artisans, check out permanentstyle.com, the UK's leading site for craft and classic style.